the rise of social media and increased coverage on high school basketball games, high school basketball stars have become almost as popular as college basketball stars. However, with this rise in popularity of high school basketball, many problems have come up, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the biggest problem in basketball today. Let's get right into it. The problem that we're talking about is players being reclassed or held back. So many players are getting held back or reclassed in their elementary school years or middle school years, and this is for the sole purpose of basketball. These players aren't struggling in the classroom, they're just being held back or reclassed to have an advantage over younger competition because they are one or two years older, sometimes even three years older. Now, Thon Maker, Devin Askew, Kyrie Walker, Spencer Friedman, and many others have been rumored to have been held back or reclassed or lied about their age. And personally, I play AAU basketball and I do know a few players who have been reclassed. I've played against players who are freshmen and they're actually 16 or 17 and I've noticed that as competition increases in basketball and as youth basketball grows, many players are afraid that they won't get the exposure needed so they play against worse competition, they play down so that they are the best player. Why is this a problem? Because they don't know how they are against people their own age and they meaning NBA scouts or college scouts. When you're two years older than a player and you're dominating them, sure, anybody can do that. But can you do that against kids your own age? It's unfair to judge a player based on what they can do against mediocre competition, and it makes it harder for legit players to get noticed or recruited because these older players are coming in against younger players and just absolutely dominating. So the players that are actually honest about their age and the players who are good and the players who have potential aren't being noticed because of these holdbacks or reclass players coming in and stealing the spotlight. It also makes results or it also results in shorter primes, which means busts in the NBA in college. I think that I'm not sure if Seventh Woods was a holdback or not, but Seventh Woods a few years ago was one of the biggest stars in high school basketball. Today he's a bench player for North Carolina, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's where he's at. So these players are reaching their peak in their senior year of high school. They're reaching their peak a few years into college or one year after the NBA because they've lied about their age. They've lied about their class, and we haven't been able to see them against legit competition because they played down their whole lives. It also ruins, ruins the competition in basketball. If you know um, any holdbacks and you've played against teams or you play AAU basketball, you know that there's teams that hold people back. There's always those teams that just have a stacked roster of 16-year-olds playing in a 13U division, and it's just ruins the competition in basketball it ruins recruiting it ruins all kinds of stuff for the players who are doing it legit and it also ruins it for nba scouts or college scouts trying to find their future stars please leave your thoughts on this issue in the comment section down below and make sure to like and subscribe if you love sports football basketball all that kind of stuff i bring content every other day Again, please leave your thoughts on this problem down below. I will see you in my next video. Thanks.